It's um, a good evening to you all for making time to join us on today's uh, presentation uh, for the Oxygen of a Democracy on Prime Television. We are always glad that you find time really to, to, to join us and discuss the pertinent issues uh, pertaining to our national development. Indeed, today it's also yet another exciting edition as we continue looking at what has been happening within the movement for multi-party democracy. So much talk has been happening whether they are still relevant on the political scene of the country or they should just uh, close the curtains and um, leave other political parties to continue uh, fighting or battling for, uh, 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 for, 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 for what we may say the top slot which is to govern this great nation of Zambia. Indeed, having um, uh, set that background, we thought we can look at uh, a topic which is, um, is MMD still relevant to the country's political <coughs> dispensation. We are looking at the topic, is the MMD still relevant to the country's political dispensation? And of course, uh, the one who's, be, who's going to be helping me to discuss uh, this uh, particular discussion is no one other than Mr. Howard Kunda, who is Muchinga MMD Member of Parliament, as well as MMD National Youth Chairman. Good evening, Honorable, and welcome to the program. Yeah, good evening, and uh, uh, Mr. Muchima. Good evening, the viewers out there. Uh, I think uh, we should have a good uh, discussion. Indeed, hoping yeah. for that one too. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't want really to to waste much of your time discussing other issues. Just as I said, we are looking at, uh, is the MMD still relevant uh, to the country's political dispensation, judging from what we've been seeing around uh, from the time you lost power? Uh, yeah, uh, I think to start with, MMD is a party that uh, we should not forget about as Zambians, because it's a party that has, uh, you know, that brought democracy to start with. A party that uh, has done so much for this country. Uh, even what you are seeing now is as a result of the MMD's vision, uh, visionary, you know, thoughts. Uh, you know, those, uh, you know, our founding fathers uh, of the MMD uh, who thought that, uh, you know, this country needed democracy and that uh, we needed to, uh, to move from the olden way of doing things to the new way of doing things. And MMD stands, uh, I think, tall uh, to say uh, that, um, you know, it, it stands for democracy and the, the rule of law. Uh, so you can see that uh, everything that we are doing uh, in this country is as a result of the MMD making sure that, uh, uh, you know, democracy, uh, development, and indeed human rights, all those, uh, all those things are brought to this country. Mm -hmm. And we are enjoying that mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there are those people who, should, who stood tall and uh, made sure that, uh, you know, uh, this country uh, becomes a, a country that the world will be looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that we've gone through uh, you know, elections uh, peacefully, and uh, you know, we even uh, handed over power mm. uh, to to another party. Mm. And it's uh, uh, it's arising know. from that that uh, we've been having a lot of turbulences as a party. And this 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 is why I'm asking you to say, are you still relevant on the political scene? Because judging from the way you've been performing, especially in by elections, in fighting within your party. I mean, what precedence are you setting as a former uh, party? You see, first of all, we need to understand that we are coming from a loss, uh, which is something that, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, would, uh, I think, would, would understand because uh, when you are just come from a loss, you, you expect that some people will leave you, some people will not trust you, uh -huh. uh, so you need to build uh, the confidence. Uh, of the people and that is what we are doing uh, we are building the confidence we are not losing by elections uh, 
as per se, because when you look at uh, the areas where the, the you know the ruling party has uh, has won, mm. it's as a result of uh, you know the fact that they have the machinery, uh, mm. you know, to use. Uh, you know, they they are using money, uh, but it, it hasn't been a level playing field. Mm. Uh, so you find that uh, uh, you are losing. Uh, some some elections like your, what you have said, mm -hmm. but uh, we are not losing at, as per se, mm -hmm. because you see, when we look back, uh, it's just three years mm -hmm. when we lost power. So we need to go out there and you know, re present ourselves again uh, to be a formidable party. Mm -hmm. I don't so know which that formula. Is what that is what we are doing. We are reorganizing the party mm. right now. Uh, you see a lot of people are left because they thought PF was it. You know, it has it had brought uh, heaven on earth, which is not the case. So a lot of people are thinking otherwise. Even when you go out there, you find that the people are saying we want MMD back because uh, you know of, of of what MMD stands for, uh, you know freedoms. We have seen that uh, this government has even stopped in you know covering those important occasions. Mm. Uh, the the public, I mean the the private media, uh, are being you know refused their right to. Mm. Uh, to cover these events. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure we'll talk about those things. Certainly. But these are Certainly. issues that we are looking at. Mm -hmm. And we are going back to the people to say that uh, they should reconsider if they have not reconsidered uh, even up to now. Mm -hmm. But when they are going to vote, we expect that uh, the people will vote MMD back into power because uh, Whatever we are going through now, whatever we are seeing as development is as a result of MMD mm. and not PF. They, they promised heaven on earth. Mm. They promised that within 90 days, you know, the constitution would be given. Mm. Uh, they promised that, uh, you know, the young people will have employment. Mm. But what are we seeing now? Mm. We are seeing, you know, companies folding up. We are seeing uh, situations where... Uh, you know, the young people are just roaming uh, on the streets. Mm. And, and it's unacceptable. Mm. Uh, you know, we have a plan, mm. a plan to develop Zambia. Uh, from, uh, you know, from 1991, mm. we've had, uh, you know, a, a situation where we've been changing. It's not one president like him, these other parties where you have seen that it's just one president from the time you know, it was formed. Uh, for example, PF, uh, you know, we've only seen uh, one president. Mm. All right, we'll, 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 be going, we'll be going into those details yeah. maybe later on as we, as we uh, develop, as the program uh, unfolds. But really, you saying that the party still remains intact, I'm wondering, because some of your members keep on leaving the party, where you are sitting there, we had last week uh, Mr. Kafum Kachi, who was your colleague, was also part of the National Executive Committee. Uh, he held the position of uh, National uh, Youth Secretary. I uh, stand to be corrected. Mm -hmm. Then on, on, the, on Friday, we also saw some MMD councillors defecting to the, uh, uh, to, to, to the PF. Does this not send some negative signals or your uh, relevance as a party? Uh, I think that, uh, you know, PF sits on uh, deception, lies. So they've been uh, telling, you know, our members uh, lies. Like, uh, for example, the, the you know, the councillors. Mm. Even in my constituency, there are some councillors who were told, you know, we'll give you so much money, mm. uh, just defect so that mm. you can be given that and we'll, re we'll readopt you. Uh, but in the end, you find that they adopt uh, other people. Mm. Uh, so, you know, it is, uh, I think it is up to also an individual to see where they are going. Mm. Because PF is a dying party. They are saying that MMD is dead. Uh, MMD, why should they be talking about uh, a dead party? 
Why should they be talking about But I'm sure the people who are saying the MMD you see, dead are not PF, but these are MMD members. Only no, Bochitua is one of them. No. Who last week said that the MMD is dead? You see, how can you be riding on a dead horse? How can you be sitting on a dead horse? How? Eh? You see, it is those people who feel that uh, uh, they, they can be welcomed in another party because they have failed to, to be in the, in the opposition. Opposition is hard because you fight uh, to, to go into government and mm. the government fights you so that they stay there. This is what is happening. MMD is the only party that has structures around the country, all over. You find the MMD. The PF equally claims the same. Uh, PF, PF do not have uh, uh, structures. Eh? And this is the time they are trying the to. No, this is the time they are trying to form structures, and they go to our structures to buy them so that uh, they can be, you know, uh, they can go and join them and form structures. That's what they are doing. MMD is the only party that is democratic, you know, democratic, uh, that stands for the human rights. And, you know, they are free to go if they want to go. But we are going to stand and provide, especially the checks on balances, so that this government can work. That is what we, we are there for now. But we are saying that we, we, we are fighting to come back to rule this country because we have seen the failures of this government. Yeah. Talking about the checks and balances, your part has been quiet lately. We are looking at the issue of the constitution, which seemingly is dying now. Most people had the vigor to talk about it, but they no longer talk about it. Of course, um, the issues to do with uh, 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 other people have been talking about the president not being seen. We've not heard a lot from your party. Issues to do with uh, the economic uh, situation in the country. We've not heard anything from your party. So I'm wondering what kind of uh, checks and balances uh, you are you saying see, you are providing. You see, first of all, uh, you have to understand that uh, we are party to, uh, you know, the, the, the arrangement or the organization that we are calling uh, the, you know, a body of parties grand and the, the, the grand collusion. That is what we, what, that is what is pushing for, for that agenda. But as a party, we are involved. And we are talking about these things. Uh, the other day I was uh, on the floor of the, the house in parliament and I was uh, debating, I was talking about uh, uh, the constitution, that they have failed the people of Zambia. So we are talking, we are relevant, we are the mother of democracy in this country. So people should not even think of, uh, you know, contributing to, to making sure that MMD dies. Mm -hmm. uh, we are telling the people that uh, we, they should be part of rebuilding this party because it is very important for democracy. It's very important uh, for our well-being of this country mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, uh, as you know, uh, this is, uh, I think, uh, the, the oldest party. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. If this is this is one of the oldest parties. There's UNIP, uh, UNIP of and, course, yeah. and MMD. These are mm. two oldest parties, of mm. course. No one can dispute that fact. This is why still me and the, the, the viewers out there are wondering, you've been in power for 20 years. What new message indeed are you going to sell to the people of Zambia for them to have confidence in your party you, again? You see, MMD of 1991 is not the MMD of uh, this time because we've been changing. Mm. You can see that we've had presidents, different presidents from the time uh, you know, it was formed. And that is why we can't say that uh, MMD, uh, you know, MMD's policies are old, because they, are, they keep on changing. We keep on changing. Uh, we had uh, Dr. Chiruba, mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, Dr. Manawasa, uh, we had the, uh, the past president, uh, Mr. Rupia Bozan Banda. Now we have Dr. Nevas Mumba. Uh, so you can see in those 20 years, it is broken down into, uh, you know, four presidents. So they are different 
uh, ideologies that that have been brought in by each and every president mm. who has been there. We, so we each leader who comes the, into the, the party was bro. coming with their own ideologies. Uh, you see, we continue from where the other one has left. But, of course, uh, you know, we bring, we, we are different people. We bring ideas mm. uh, to enhance what is already there. And that is what we have been doing as MMD. I'm sure uh, from uh, Dr. Chiruva, we were talking of privatization, mm -hmm. which I think uh, has been paying off. Which men have condemned again. No, you see, uh, right now we are enjoying all these things, uh, but because of uh, privatization. Of course, a lot of people lost employment, but it, it was built on that. Then uh, the late Mwanawasa came, uh, may he so rest in peace also. Uh, he, he brought you know, the, the issue of fighting corruption and the, uh, the law of, of law, uh, mm. human rights, uh, mm. respecting people's views, respecting, mm. you know, all those things. So, uh, then we, 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 we had uh, the, the past president, uh, Mr. Pia Bwezan Banda, he was looking at the economy. Uh, he's an economist. And that's why we saw, you know, a lot of uh, businesses starting foreign investment. That is, uh, you know, uh, the MMD. Then now we are fighting to go back into government mm -hmm. with the Dr. Nevers Mumba. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, 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 which, which, which slogan are you using now? You talked of the law of law, privatization. Now under Nevers Mumba, which, which we, slogan are you using? We are bringing new hope for Zambia. Mm. Which hope is this which we never saw in 20 uh, years? Uh, you see, first of all, I, I want to say that um, uh, uh, we've been, we are being transformed. Now we are in the opposition. So we have to fight to go into government. Mm. So uh, why did we lose? Uh, so we, we are looking at those things. So now we are saying that we want to bring new hope uh, to the Zambians so that they can trust us again because they lost trust. That is why they, they kicked us out. Mm -hmm. But we want to bring new ideas, uh, new hope for this country so that we can be voted uh, back into, into office mm -hmm. so that we continue on the promise we continue mm. on the developmental projects on the you know many issues that this country is suffering now mm. uh, because uh, we put a government that uh, you know has neglected uh, the people of zambia mm. yeah. your colleague uh, I, i'm sure i'm referring to to him uh, mr tobias kafumkashi i know uh, he, because he was here and he was part of your party and there are a lot of issues which he brought out one of them was that uh, the MMD were dreamers. We were just used to talk and you never used to implement. <laughs> so can, can, maybe I can ask, what, what projects or things that uh, we did not uh, you know, uh, uh, deal with, mm. we did not implement? Mm. Because whatever is being implemented now, it's those things that we started to implement. But it was at a time when the Zambian people were fatigued mm. uh, with MMD. They thought that we had overstayed, so they, they kicked us out. But everything that is being seen, talk of the roads, talk, they have just changed names. They have just changed names. That is what they have done, these people. Eh? Talk of agriculture, now agriculture is dead. Eh? People are not receiving inputs, they are not receiving, you know, uh, the seed, they are not receiving the fertilizer. Of course, we are hearing that, you know, the minister is gone on TV saying that, uh, you know, fertilizer in the dis is in the districts. But this is now October. We know, MMD knew that, you know, the, the farming season starts in August. Hmm. That is when you are supposed to take you know, the inputs, so that the people can be ready. Mm. When it starts raining, they can plant. And, you know, so agriculture is, is, is it's a disaster every mm. year. Right now, the farmers have not been paid mm. their money for, for the maize that they delivered to the FRI. Mm. So 
what have they done, these people? Mm. So, so you, you keep on saying that uh, the, the PF have not done anything. They've just brought misery to the Zambian people. But, no. but, but what really, from your own view, mm. is there anything you can point out positive that this party has done? Which one? The PF? Mm. Has well, the PF, haven't they done anything good the in your PF, own opinion? Whatever they have done, mm. they have continued on the MMD's plan, mm. but is it which wrong? is a good you, thing. Exactly, It's a good thing that they have continued, but they need to acknowledge that the party, uh, the government that made or started all these things is MMD. That is what we are saying. Then, if they go wrong somewhere, we should be able to tell them and they listen to us. But they insult us when we advise them. Mm. Even the issues to do with, the, uh, you know, arranging for the football players to go to, uh, to go and play football. It has to take, you know, us to talk about it. Mm. That is when they, uh, they, they implement, mm. uh, you know. Those are the things that we are saying. This government has failed the people of Zambia. The, 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 the youths are losing employment mm. every day. The other day, uh, I, I raised a question eh, mm. to the vice president that he should uh, explain uh, what they are doing about the, the people who are losing employment. Mm. Eh? And I gave an example of Sebo Zinc. Right now, the, the workers are no longer there. It's only, uh, only care and maintenance. Mm -hmm. eh? How many companies have gone under as a result of the bad policies uh, of, of this government? Mm -hmm. A lot of companies. And uh, what are we losing? It's employment. People are losing employment. They are saying that they have created employment in the road sector, mm -hmm. in the infrastructure development. <laughs> Those employments, uh, is it permanent? Yeah. Those are the questions. And how much do those people get paid? Every day they are protests. Every day they are protests. Yeah. So, what have they done? Yeah. I'm sure they've increased uh, the minimum wage. So, they can say you that's see what they've the, done. You see the create, cost of we are, living. The we, cost we, are, we are constructing the roads which MMD thought to construct in 20 years. We never... Uh, failed to construct the roads. The roads we started. There are schools that this government has failed to finish. In my constituency, there are three uh, mean secondary schools that uh, you know we started in 2011. Up to now, we haven't finished. Mm. Up to now, eh, you know the contractors are not being paid their monies. Mm. So, what have they done? Me, have not seen anything. Mm. Eh? In my constituency. They, I have been talking about the roads. They, they can't even grade the roads. So what have they done? Yeah. The roads, we, we started the roads. We started with the Formula One. Mm. Yeah. We were going to Formula Two. This is what they are doing. Look at the Mongo Kalabo Road. They are singing Mongo Kalabo Road. We started that road. Uh, look at uh, you know in northern province all those uh, you know important roads that we we planned mm. for us we have a plan eh, for this nation mm. the way we would want this country to develop we have a plan it's not just uh, uh, you know to talk for us we were implementing whatever we said policy we were uh, you know transforming a we were transforming that mm. policy into action. Mm. And that's what we were Even doing. Even the PF said the they've transformed uh, the policy into action. One, th they said, let, let there be Robert Makasa University in Muchinga, and it's there. Let there be a district next door here, it's there. And those districts, see, to them, they are saying decentralization, taking development closer to the people. Because you if see, you open up a, a, a district, mm. there, there will be a DC, there will be this one, and that's development and empowering the people. Isn't that a good thing? You see, first of all, you need to plan. You don't just pronounce by for the sake of pronouncements. Uh, you see, what, what we are going through now is as a result of, of poor planning. Mm -hmm. If you talk of, you know, the, the, the issue of uh, no PF has increased the minimum wage. Yes, it has increased the minimum wage, but what has that done to the people? 
Eh? First of all, a lot of people have lost employment. Secondly, uh, people do, do not uh, see the, the, the strength of that, uh, that mm. money because uh, of, uh, you know, they, have, they removed the subsidies. So it's a government for what? Is it not a government for people? Is it not a government that is supposed to look after the people mm. uh, in terms of providing even the subsidies on you know, agriculture so that our people can afford? You see, the cost of living has shot up. Mm. It has gone high. That is why we are not seeing uh, even that minimum wage being something that we can talk about. Mm. The cost of doing business, uh, you know, it has shot up because of, uh, you know, there are a lot of issues. Uh, the, 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 you know, the exchange rates, uh, all those issues. Mm. Uh, the, 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 the fuel, you, you see, we have to plan. Mm. That is why I keep on advising this government to consult where they, are, they feel they, they cannot do uh, you know, the correct thing so that we can help because we are doing this uh, all of us to develop this country. But Honorable Bukunda, uh, is it possible for your competitor to come back to you and at the end of the day you come out and start saying the PF have, have done this because it's us who, who gave them idea. Is it possible? Even you, when you are in, in the ruling party, where are you receiving advice from the PF? They don't listen. The PF... Were you they, listening yourself? We were. We were. That is why we started the roads, because they, they kept on poking us. They kept on checking, you know. They were a very good uh, opposition, uh, you know, party, I must say. Uh, that is what we want to do also, but mm. uh, when you talk, they want to arrest you. When you, uh, you, you, you move, they want to arrest you. So, we can't even hold uh, meetings, mm. even indoor meetings. Meetings so that, to no, criticize that, them? No, 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 even to organize our party. Eh? They don't want. So, how are we going to develop this country if we will remain with one party? Eh? We need opposition in this country so that our people can have, you know, good representation. Mm -hmm. uh, they can have, you know, these ministers uh, working uh, because we'll be poking them. It's just not in the parliament. It's everywhere. We need to provide the checks and balances. And personally, I've been doing that. Mm -hmm. First of all, I, I, I have uh, not, uh, you know, been part of uh, the government. Because I feel that, you know, the young people need representation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the young people need somebody to, to talk uh, for them. What do you this mean? is what I've, I've, I've been What doing. do you mean if you say, I've not been part of the government? Yeah. I've been approached to join uh, this, this government. But uh, what will, will, will that, uh, you know, do to, to the people of Zambia? Mm -hmm. It means we'll be going to, one, to a one-party system. Eh, to a one-party state, mm -hmm. eh, we want at least people who stand up and uh, criticize this mm -hmm. government. Uh, you know, give them uh, due, you know, uh, recommendation if if they have done something mm -hmm. uh, correct. But for me personally, uh, I think that they need to do more. It is not just uh, to talk uh, that uh, that will change things. Mm -hmm. It is action. I'm sure, so, what, uh, I'm sure someone, so, someone is thinking loud, just like I'm thinking, to say, what were you approached to be, to be given? You are promised to be given which position, if it's not uh, a deputy? Uh, uh, no, no, obviously it's deputy minister position. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no way I can be a cabinet minister coming from the opposition. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that uh, uh, all the key positions have been taken by nominated member of, members of parliament mm -hmm. who have uh, gone beyond Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that age where, uh, you know, you can say that uh, these people contribute effectively. Uh, I feel that uh, uh, we, st we have young people who can contribute, uh, even in the PF, mm -hmm. uh, there are young people who can contribute effectively in the governance. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the opposition, uh, we need the young, energetic, you know, people, men and women,
mm. who will stand up to the pressure. It is very difficult, I must say, mm. uh, you know, to be to be in the opposition. Mm. But of course, uh, we are doing a noble job mm. that is to you know uh, to enhance the democracy to to make sure that uh, our people's views are heard mm. uh, through us. Uh, mm. You know, those of us who have been. Uh, given the opportunity to serve the people. Mm. Yeah. Honorable Kunda, I'll still take you back to the MMD uh, issue. Our former president, your former president of the party, His Excellency Mr. Bwezan Banda, Rupia Banda, popularly known as Arabi, has been making headlines, hitting headlines of late, you know, uh, of him uh, probably hinting that he, he can come back if at all the people need him. Now, if he announced that he wants to come back and uh, he wants to, 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 to head the MMD, would you still uh, welcome him as a party? You see, first of all, let me uh, clear the air. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, MMD follows rules. That is why I'm saying that it's a democratic party. Mm -hmm. It's the only party that allows people to talk, mm -hmm. uh, you know, allows people to air their views. You see... MMD has a constitution, mm -hmm. and the constitution, if it comes to that, it will guide. Right now we have a president. There is no vac vacancy in mm -hmm. MMD. Uh, of course there are these other vacancies, you know, vice presidents, uh, you know, uh, the national uh, youth secretary. Mm -hmm. There are vacancies like that. But on the presidents, we have a president. So if there is anything that mm. would need to change, uh, first of all, we, we need to go to a convention. Uh, the convention on the presidents, mm. convention is there to change things. Mm. And that is what we'll do. It mm. is as simple as that. Uh, if uh, my father, uh, Mr. Rupia Bwezan Banda, mm. Would, mm. Who, who wants to come back, he has to go through the process. He's a free man. He can mm. do whatever he wants to do. But we have to follow the law. The law is there. The constitution is there that guides uh, our movements. Whatever we do in our party, we have the laws, the rules that we follow. Mm. Uh, we, we dispatched a team of our, some of our colleagues uh, in, um, in Katete and Petaoke. And uh, of course, reports coming through from there that everyone seems most of the people let me not say everyone most of the people are in support of rb coming back yeah uh, you see mmd like i have said mmd is a democratic party it allows people to air their views mm -hmm. to talk about what their feelings so that uh, we can uh, look at them mm -hmm. and uh, if it's uh, worth considering who we'll consider mm -hmm. you see um MMD uh, is going to a convention very soon, mm -hmm. uh, in 2016, should I say, in uh, April 2016, that is the deadline that we are supposed to go to a convention. Every five years, mm -hmm. is, MMD is not like uh, other parties, where that you know, those parties that do not go to conventions. Mm -hmm. uh, we have seen that we are the only party, uh, it's the only party that uh, has gone to conventions every five years. Mm. And uh, this one will not be different who we'll go to the convention. And if people feel that uh, uh, at the convention, if they feel that uh, uh, other people should be there to, to lead the party, mm. that will be, you know, the law mm. will be followed to the letter. Mm. So right now there is no vacancy. Even, even my father, uh, uh, Mr. Rupia Bwezan Banda, uh, Arabi, he even said it, that he has, a, he has a president. He belongs to the MMD, the MMD that has a president, mm. uh, President Dr. Nevers Mumba. That is what he, he said. Mm. Uh, so, uh, there is no crisis whatsoever. Mm. MMD uh, stands for the law of uh, the, the rule of law. Mm. And that is what uh, we are going to follow. Okay. Honorable, I have to take you up to speed with uh, some of the issues that we have here because um, uh, later on we also need to accommodate uh, our callers to start uh, participating into this uh, program. But quickly, let me take you to the issue 
of um, reports that we are receiving as uh, members of the public that there is a breakaway party within uh, the, the, the MMD. Some senior party officials are planning to launch a political party. Are you aware of these reports? Uh, I've heard uh, of such kind of Just reports. Just like we've heard. But not uh, members of the MMD. I've heard, you know, uh, people who, who are saying they, they, they want to form another party. Of course, even in the MMD, if they want to go, they, they are free. You know, this is a democracy. This is a society where people are supposed to be free uh, to choose where they want to go. Uh, so, if they want to form a party, there are a lot of parties that have been formed in this country. Where are they? Uh, they of course, yeah, they are there. Some, some of them, we hear about them. But... Uh, we need to consolidate. We need people to understand that democracy also means that you stick where you are and provide the checks and balances. We shouldn't be running away from, you know, uh, from the fact that, uh, you know, we need uh, each other. We need uh, all of us to develop this country. Mm. Uh, if we have different views, let us bring them so that we can talk about them. If there are, you know, there are issues that we cannot resolve, mm. yeah, maybe they are free to go and, mm. you know, form their own party. Mm. But what I've heard is that uh, there are people from from PF, uh, uh, you know, UPND, uh, some from MMD who want to form that that party, mm. but they are free. Mm. Yeah. So in, yeah, in short, you are saying, according to your investigations as MMD, I don't want to say these are your, your, your views, you are representing a party. It's mm -hmm. the PF, some members within the PF, some members from uh, the, the, the opposition uh, mm -hmm. uh, UPND and the opposition MMD are the ones trying to come up and form a political party. This is what I have heard. This is what uh, you know people are talking about, mm -hmm. uh, that they would want to form a uh, they are calling it GPP. Uh, I don't know. That's a genuine, genuine people's, people's platform. platform. Genuine people's platform. Yeah, they are free. They can, you know, form that. But party. unconfirmed but reports indicate that uh, people like uh, uh, Honorable Michael Kayingu, who is your member, was your vice president, Honorable Chitu, I'm not saying these are the people behind that party, but these are rumors. These unconfirmed reports. All right. Honorable Siria and among others are the ones who are behind this political party. Yeah, you see, uh, like I have said, uh, you know, this is a free society where people are free to, to do whatever they want to do. But uh, you also need to look at uh, this group of people. Uh, what, what do they want to achieve? Mm -hmm. uh, what are they up to? Uh, you need to look at that. So in your it's, opinion, up, what are they it's up to? to the people. Uh, you see, uh, first of all, what the people you have mentioned mm. are those people who, were, who have been who were causing you know that time they were causing problems to the party and in now? the party. Uh, right now it is quiet. Uh, that time they were removed from their positions because. Mm. Uh, MMD felt that uh, you know they were going against the rules, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why they were relieved of mm -hmm. their duties as and vice president. That's the more reason why they so if they want no, if they want to form their own political party, uh, Zambia is, is very white. It's, it's an open playing field. So if they want, we shall meet there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does that, that that wouldn't that paint a very bad? Uh, 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 footprint on your party? Uh, you see, each party loses some members, each party gains some members. So, it, it is up to, to the Zambian people to decide. We are there, we are providing ourselves as an alternative to the PF government. Mm -hmm. So, if, if the people feel that, uh, you know, and I'm not, I'm not talking about the Zambian people. Those who would want to uh, to start this this party, if they feel that uh, it will be an alternative to PF, let them 
you go ahead and and form. Mm. Uh, we are not scared of them. Mm. Uh, we we are many. We have you know members of parliament. Mm. Uh, we have structures everywhere. Mm. So uh, this country is is in fact ripe uh, to come back to MMD because. Uh, of of what is uh, you know prevailing in the country. Mm. Yeah. Some of the issues that uh, some of your members are leaving the parties to do with uh, the leadership of the MMD and Dr. Mumba has been on the center of all these uh, uh, these uh, fracas, for lack of a better word. So for uh, you see, um, <laughs> there there are people who have selfish you know uh, reasons in uh, doing whatever they are doing, uh, to do whatever they are doing. Uh, mostly, it is those people who who, have, uh, who think that uh, they can be better, you know, in, in, in maybe presidents. Mm. Uh, so they would want to cause problems for, uh, for the person who's there so that uh, they can be the ones mm. to be there. But it doesn't work like that in MMD. MMD follows rules. It has a constitution. And every five years we go to a convention. We chose uh, to be, you know, led by Dr. Mumba from the time he was elected up to 2016. That is why we are having a convention. Mm. In, uh, I don't know if it will be before uh, or you know, towards the same time that we always uh, have the, the convention. Mm. But we are having a convention and, uh, you know, people will decide mm. what they want. Mm. Uh, it is not uh, waking up to say that, uh, no, this one we don't want him, that one we want him. It's, it doesn't work like that. Mm. This, are this are is, you comfortable with his, his leadership style? is uh, is very okay. What he needs is our support. And uh, those people who do not want to support him are mm. those that want, you know, to be the presidents themselves. And that is why, uh, you know, we are hearing that, uh, like you, what you have said, that mm. there are some members who would want to form another party. Uh, let us battle it out in, in the party and, uh, you know, uh, provide the leadership, not just to be jumping. Mm. Uh, would have jumped all of us, but mm. uh, we have seen that uh, you know the policies that MMD stands for are good policies that this country needs. Mm. That is why we are sticking there, and we want to 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 make sure that uh, you know we provide the leadership. All right, I had a, I had a discussion with you earlier in the week uh, prior to this interview, and of course um, on the twentieth. Uh, on the 20th of last month, our head of state flew to New York, where he was representing us uh, at uh, the UN General Assembly. Now, as a party, as MMD, how did the president uh, uh, represent us? Are you, as a party, are you, uh, 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 do you think we're ably represented at uh, that? Uh, you see, everyone ex everyone's expectation or expectations that uh, uh, the president was, would fly from here to go to New York and, uh, you know, go and read the speech that, uh, uh, you know, he prepares so that he, uh, he can give uh, the world, uh, you know, what Zambia is standing for uh, in different areas uh, of, of, of life. Uh, so... When you hear that the president had gone to, to New York and you don't see him, obviously it raises questions. It raises, you know, speculation. It raises a lot of concern because uh, you, you expect that the president w would have been seen, mm. uh, you know, giving a speech to, to the world. Mm. Uh, you know, the, the president uh, should have been uh, in the forefront. Mm. But of course, we hear that he delegated, mm. uh, which is also his right. He can uh, delegate. But, uh, uh, you know, the fact that he flew from here to America, mm. we expected that the president would, uh, you know, uh, deliver uh, a speech mm. uh, that, uh, you know, would have inspired uh, everyone in, in Zambia and, and indeed uh, across the world. 
All right. Mm. Honorable Bukunda, we, we still have to discuss the you, you budget expectations of uh, you, the MMD, and of course, you being a youth, also be looking into that aspect. But for now, uh, our phones have been ringing, so let's see if we can accommodate some uh, callers then we'll be uh, uh, discussing these issues even as we go with the program. All right. All right, if you're just joining us, I'm discussing with uh, the Muchinga MMD member of the parliament, who is also the national youth chairman for the movement for multi-party democracy. And we're discussing the relevance of uh, the MMD into the country's uh, political dispensation. So if uh, <clears throat> there are some calls, we can start getting them and see how we progress. We have a caller on the line. <coughs> Good evening. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Your name and where you are calling yeah, us I from? Can't hear you. Hello. I, I can hear you. you, sir. You can go ahead. Your name? Hello. I can get you loud and clear. Your oh, name? Right. I want to go evening. Good evening. How are you, sir? Uh, but I can't hear you. Just I go ahead, sir. Go okay. ahead. Good evening. Okay. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about politics in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Politics in Zambia was talking on the paper and so forth. It's gone. Look about the PF, what they have done for, in three years' time. Mm -hmm. They have opened the road. And you, MMD, you've been MMD. Mm. Which constitution here? Uh, which constitution you MMD found for 20 years? You did bring, give us a, a constitution which you are crying for today. Mm. Give MMD PF time and they, they will deliver that constitution. Mm. Um, next, uh, I want to go there. You are very young, don't uh, you? are very young, we are still need you. Just be open. If a PF is doing wrong thing, yes, try to. We we'll advise them, mm. and uh, and the only thing is, if they are doing nice things, try to uh, to thank them as well. That's one thing. But I I find time to see you, Mr. Wadikunda. Good in, good night. Thank you. Thank you so very much, sir. Though we didn't get your name and where you're calling us from, but however the messages are, are taken into consideration. Let's get some more calls. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello? Good evening, sir. Your name? I will get you loud and clear, sir. You can I go ahead. Good, uh, good evening. I'm fine. Yeah. Thank you. How are you? I want to commend you for the job well done. Well spoken. You are speaking very well. So, for all people who want to distract you, you need to be for providing fixed and balances. And I will even say that you failed to give us a constitution. I will see you in the presence of the current president and most of his members. They are part and parcel of the way that came here. They were removed. Mm -hmm. So they should not clear anything on you to say no, you failed to give me a constitution. They were there. So if I say you failed to give me a constitution, you are all clear. Together with the ruling party. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Honorable Howard Kumba, continue your work providing checks and balances, don't have to be here to go to the Nicaragua and the next year. Those people are around the same, you are still fresh in politics, you are still young. So be principled, be consistent, I like the way you see people in parliament. You are more consistent than these people who have been in politics for too long. It's like they don't politics, it's like the way you come to the table. They are all in charge of doing it. So don't feel like that. Be like your father, you are very consistent. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Let's get some more calls. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Your name and where you are Hello, calling good us? evening, sir. Good evening. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm going from PHI. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm following the Honorable Buddha's discussion. Honorable mm -hmm. Buddha came on the BBC some two, three, four, five years ago. Mm. Is he following the step of the father to achieve his political ambition? Because the father wanted to be the president all the time. Mm. Mr. Gunda came on the scene when the father was the vice president. Mm -hmm. No wonder he won the Muchinga seat. Mm -hmm. And secondly, sir, Mr. Gunda should enlighten us as youth 
when MMD was in power, they never did the constitution in 20 years when they were in power. May elaborate much more than that. Thank mm. you, sir. Thank you so much, Sam. Let's get uh, one more call, then we get to the discussion because there are a number of issues which have just come up. All right, let's get one more Hello. call. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. You are through the program. Yes, this is this is Councillor Masumo. Yes, Mr. Kaseba. Councillor Masumo. Councillor Masumo. Yes, Councillor. Yes, from Ajama Ten. Okay. Yes, sir, Councillor. Yes, yes, sir. I'm very disappointed in your other generation. Mm -hmm. How about the Kunda? Do you know that your party, MOD, did a lot of harm to us people in Kanyama? Mm. Right now, we the land, land wrongs because of your party that took land minus procedures. Mm. Right now, in Kanyama, there are a lot of land wrongs because of your party. Mm. When you are saying, PF is telling you what you are supposed to do, but why did you fail to do those things? Did you expect PF to build the roads on in heaven? Rather than if we are doing what you failed to do. Right now in Kanyama, Zambia is working and is saying you failed, brother. Mm. You failed. We are in heaven on the earth. Thank you. You cannot compare 20 years to 3 years, mm. but we are doing what you failed in 20 years. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Councillor. Thank you so much, <clears throat> Director. Let's hold on and respond to these uh, queries. I don't know I whether you've got a particular concern you want to go with. Or yeah, you... no. Let me talk about uh, uh, the concerns that uh, the callers have mm. been uh, talking about. Right. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I want to thank uh, you know the callers uh, for their contribution. It is healthy. You know, it's in a democracy. You need uh, mm. people to come out. Mm. Uh, and the, they air their own views, their opinions on, on issues. Uh, on the issue of the constitution, the MMD took the constitution to parliament uh, after the NCC. Mm -hmm. It went up to, the, to, to parliament for enactment. But of course, it fell short of the numbers that uh, uh, you know, we needed mm -hmm. uh, to, to enact because the PF did not want uh, you know uh, to to have that that uh, constitution passed because uh, of course there were there, there was no 50 plus 1 and that is uh, the contentious issue which uh, they were talking about uh, it fell but everything else that we are talking about now even uh, i'm sure in the draft constitution mm -hmm. those are the things that are there it is uh, the same, except for for us as MMD, the fifty plus one uh, was dropped. That's a word that is the reason. That is the reason, uh, you know, that constitution did not go through. Mm -hmm. We considered. Eh? We thought that uh, maybe this is what the people want. Eh? They want the fifty plus one. So this is what we are saying that. PF, they stood for the 50 plus 1. What has changed now? Eh? They need to give us like yesterday. They need to deliver the constitution mm. like yesterday. We need it. We mm. need that document. This is what the people have been saying mm. from time in memorial. They've been talking about this, this same clause of 50 plus 1. Why are you dragging your feet when he, you were the ones who even he made sure that it's not enacted? For us as MMD, we took the constitution to parliament for enactment. We did not sit on the draft constitution. We gave out, uh, you know, the draft constitution so that the people can see what is there. But of course, when it went for enactment, it, it failed, short of the numbers that, uh, because uh, UPND and PF thought that they wanted the 50 plus one, mm. and they, they did not vote. Uh, you know, uh, so that uh, that that constitution, uh, uh, you know, it, it should have seen light at the end of the tunnel. But of course, it failed. So we considered, but now 
we are saying that bring it to parliament. Mm -hmm. yeah? Let us go for a, a referendum so that the people can decide what they want. Because they, they say that it is a government for the people and the, the people should decide. Mm -hmm. Why are they not giving us that draft constitution? Eh? That the people of Zambia sat to discuss and they came up with resolutions that they wanted uh, those clauses to be you know, included in the draft constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, why are they dragging their feet? So we are saying that they should just honor what they said. Mm -hmm. It is not something that we are just making up. No, it is those things that they promised the Zambian people. And that is what we are saying. Mm -hmm. eh? On the roads, uh, they are saying that no, uh, you know, the roads we are, uh, we, we you, failed you to, to do that to in do the, years and the, the roads. In three years. You see, it is not being done in three years. It is uh, MMD's time plus the three years that they are there. Because we started, you know, building the roads. It's not like they have just started, you know. All those projects that they are doing, it is MMD that started. We did not fail. We provided what the Zambian people wanted in terms of providing the infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, development that they, have, they are now boasting that they are doing. Yes, uh, they have done uh, a good thing to continue on the MMD's promise. And that is that's a good thing. We need to com commend them for that. But they should acknowledge that MMD, uh, you know, did... Uh, something. Mm. They, whatever they have named these roads, the AO400, the 2000, the PEF, Zambia, all those projects were on our cards. We we have all these, if, this information on our cards. Mm. So uh, these, these are things that uh, they are doing. Mm. So we need to commend them that they have uh, continued on the MMD's uh, agenda. And that is, that's a good thing. It's a plus for them. They need to continue so that this country can develop. Mm. But we should stop borrowing. We should make money from our own country, not borrowing. Because what that is doing, it is bring, bring, bringing pressure on the younger generation, on those children's, you know, our children's children. They are the ones who are going to suffer uh, as a result of borrowing. Uh, like this, okay. we can manage or if we are able to refund. Let me just because, finish uh, this thought. We've got a number of also. Let me let me just finish mm -hmm. this thought. Mm -hmm. uh, thought, yeah. Uh, you see, uh, if we are able to refund six hundred million dollars mm -hmm. eh, in VAT, then we are borrowing seven hundred and fifty million. What, what kind of uh, you know? How can you balance up these things? Eh? We need to, we can make the money, it's here. Mm -hmm. If in refunds we are able to give 600 million, why can't we make that 600 million mm -hmm. eh? and use it locally? But we are boasting, no, we are, we are borrowing. That, that is not the way MMD would want to, uh, to operate. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we had a man from... Uh, 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 our uncle, father, or brother yeah. from PHI was also saying, are you riding in your father's uh, footsteps of uh, becoming, wanting to become uh, president? And of course, um, you, should, you should elaborate more. You see, first of all, uh, I have no ambition to become president now because I have a role which I am doing now. Mm. I am national youth chairman mm. in the MMD and I am you know, providing uh, uh, checks and balances in parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a president uh, in our party. Uh, even in the nation, we have a president. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, for my job is to make sure that, uh, you know, the young people are represented in all areas of, of, of their lives. They are represented. And I have offered myself uh, to, you know, uh, to work uh, in those areas mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that uh, I talk for the young people, mm -hmm. I deal with these things. Then, riding on my father's legacy and leg wanting... Uh, surely, uh, should we even question that? Uh, you know, uh, that is where I'm coming from. Uh, my father was in politics. 
Andy, eh, of course I'm following what he was doing. Like father, like son. Yeah. All right, let's go to counselor, um, uh, the counselor uh, uh, from uh, Kanyama said, MMD did a lot of harm than good, especially when it comes to the land wrangles. So as a result of your poor policies in land administration, that we are seeing all these fights. You see, uh, first of all, we are seeing those fights now. Eh? Is it in MMD now? No. We have people who are saying they are in charge, the PF government. So why can't they show leadership, uh, you know, in addressing those issues? Uh, MMD may have done some wrong. We considered, that is why we were kicked out of government. And we considered we gave power. We gave it away because, uh, you know, we, we respected the people's wish, the people's will. Uh, so now it is the PFC, you know, responsibility to make sure that they look at these things, they deal with these things. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not to blame MMD. MMD is no longer there. What we are saying as MMD is that we are going to provide the checks and balances. We are going to poke this government so that they can do what is best. So this, the councillor, I'm happy that he, he caught and he brought out this issue. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, the people at the local government, at Ministry of Lands, they can look at that issue. Because right now, it is the PF government. In fact, it should do better to go to the Ministry of, of Lands. Mm -hmm. uh, because those that are fighting, it is the PF. Is it the MMD? No, it is the PF. So they should just sort out these issues. Mm -hmm. It is them who are in power, and that is why we are we are pressurizing them mm -hmm. so that they can do the right thing. And when they do the right thing, I'll be the first one to commend them to to go on the platform and uh, you know praise them. All right, and, uh, because we believe that uh, you know when you are doing good, mm -hmm. people should uh, commend you. Exactly. And when you are doing bad, people should condemn you so that you do. But you do better. Mm -hmm. But in this case, uh, you know, it is very difficult to commend uh, this right. government. Yeah. Let's accommodate some more calls, director, and see how we progress. Do you have any more calls? Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Your name? Hello. I can get you, sir. Your can name? You hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Colin. Good evening, thank you. And uh, good evening, Honorable Kunda. Good evening, thank you. Okay. How are you, sir? Honorable um, Kunda. Um, well, your name, I sir? And I follow, I've been following the program so well. My name is Kakoma. Yes, Mr. Kakoma. Calling you from within Lusaka. Yes, sir. Um, well, I'm a bit uh, uh, worried and to understand uh, how you are managing to get together courage and be able to think that uh, MMD can get back into power. While we appreciate they're doing a good job in opposition, which is very nice, keep it up. Now, getting back into power, well, let's see. My question is to take you back 20 years mm -hmm. of MMD. I would like your comments, what manufacturing uh, companies either you revamped or you created which on, uh, on which basis uh, if you come into power you'll have enough revenue in the, the government coffers for you to implement and succeed in any program to make a difference of the 20 years that uh, MMD was in power. Can you give me a comment on manufacturing? Can you or rather please record and uh, help us understand some of us uh, in, in manufacturing what did you mmd do i want to give so many examples and take a lot of time on this uh, line mm -hmm. uh, for example cereals I, I remember 1995 i bought a suit uh, in the 20th street in the usa in new york it was i, I when i checked it it was uh, made by cereals it's not there a lot of other companies, I don't want to bore you, you know them, mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. But basically, can you comment on manufacturing, which, is, which can create more jobs, more 
more revenue for the nation, and uh, it can help. But other than what you talked about, what you you condemned a little bit on the road, that those jobs are temporal, no problem. We understand. But mm. then, can we talk about manufacturing? What did you do, and what can you do now? Thank okay. you very much. Barbara. Thank you, Mr. Kakoma. Thank you so much. Let's accommodate more calls. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, thank you, sir. Your name? My name is um, Mr. Bonface. Mr. Bonche. Bonface. Bonface. Yes, Mr. Bonface. Uh, I'm calling from within Lusaka. Sure, sir. I just want to find out if you are a minister of the land. If I am Pimkwe. If you are a minister of the land. Eh, Eva Pangira ma ma plan ya malodi nangu fuel mm -hmm. yali cheap. But if you were yali shorter, I remember one time tuanele tuanele la pa 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 filling station. You ufwa mm -hmm. kwa kwa you you buy a fuel. Sometimes the three days or four days. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you finish the road in twenty years time? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Bonface. Let's accommodate more calls, Director. Two more calls, then we get to the discussion. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Your name? Fabian Kakletilo from Lusaka. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just want to address the caller to say, let's not forget too fast. Yes, we know NMD had its own issues, but again, we can't say that too much. This is from thinking PFI's great happen or okay. Just walk into a concert and check with your 10,000 or with your salary and see how much you buy to deal compared with what you bought in the end of the time. Yes, we saw construction towards the end of Arab Israel, mm -hmm. but in the end, did you win? He lost it. Even the same thing happened and we can see what's around, but when a election comes, one does not sit down. Mm -hmm. We know what to do in the power because it's secret. Mm -hmm. So your uh, callers, please, before to pick your phone and waste that talk time of yours. Please think, it's not all about the PLF, MNP, or UPND. This is not soccer you're watching. This is your life, it's the life of your children. Your future is at stake. Now, when you do these things, let's handle them like we're all Zambians. Because the way we're fragmented, it's like everybody just thinks about their parties. Whatever we say is skewed towards your party. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, I think about my children. Don't you think about the children? Do you think your children will be PS or they will be MLB? They will never be such. Mm -hmm. So, please, Zambians, look, cross any border, whichever direction, whatever you buy, bring it to Zambia, you will make profit. What kind of an economy is this? You people have taken some of you are businessmen, you know what I'm talking about. But when you come on air for the sake of your stomach and for the sake of that money is at the end of the day, you support your party. It's not like that. Let's put them in the face within the third second. We are celebrating 50 years. Yet when you make your calls here, you are being like naturally to bring. Mm -hmm. We are big people. Let's, let's be mature. Let's be loving. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Some emotions there, isn't it? Yeah. All right, uh, director. One more call. We get the discussion now. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, sir. Your name? And uh, this is Musonda. Yes, Mr. Musonda. Okay. I don't know if you got that. No. Wow. Uh, I, I, well, I, I just said about the money you wish they're talking about. Uh, anyway, I did not get that. Yeah, um, uh, I think let's, uh, let's respond to the... the I, I think, uh, thank you very much uh, for the, the views uh, that have, have come across. You know, Mr. Kakoma uh, is uh, doubtful that the MMD would uh, bounce back. Mm. Uh, of course, he has a right to uh, to say whatever he wants to say, uh, but uh, we feel that uh, you know we we can come back and mm. uh, uh, we are offering an alternative uh, to to the PF government, and uh, we are going about it uh, the right way. 
uh, you know, we are selling ourselves to the people. There are some who feel that because they belong to another party, uh, they will not uh, say anything good. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the people of Zambia, I think, are the ones that matter, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the most. Uh, what their view is uh, on on how they are being governed, on uh, you know, uh, in terms of prices for commodities, uh, you know, the fuel. Or the, the, there are a lot of issues, you know, the agriculture sector, the way it is being handled, uh, the fuel, the energy, you know, all those things. Uh, it is the people of Zambia, I'm sure, who at the end of the day mm -hmm. will make a decision. Mm -hmm. So. What we need to do is just to go out there and uh, present ourselves uh, to the people and uh, give them the hope that uh, uh, you know when we come back to power, uh, we are going to be a good government that will look after their interest, uh, not you know personal interests. Mm -hmm. uh, so he talked of manufacturing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I can agree with him that uh, we are not done very well uh, with the agriculture, I mean the, the, manufacturing, the manufacturing industry, uh, because we, we privatized, you know, most of uh, the, the parastatal companies, uh, we liberalized the economy uh, so that, you know, you and me, uh, the people out there, can you start, you know, start up to, can start thinking of, you know, how to make money. Uh, it, 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 we wanted to inculcate, uh, you know, a mind, uh, in, in a mind that we needed to be free from uh, dependence uh, or depending on the government mm -hmm. uh, alone. We needed to open up mind, people's minds so that they start up their own businesses. Self-reliant. Uh, Self-reliant. Mm -hmm. We forgot about the manufacturing industry because it was, uh, you know, uh, one of those things that uh, uh, was uh, destroyed, mm -hmm. uh, if I may uh, say that. Uh, so uh, we, we, we had a plan. That is why we thought that, you know, the, the foreign investment would come in uh, to come and, uh, you know, bridge that gap. Uh, but of course we have seen that uh, foreign, uh, you know, investment, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are going uh, back to their countries. Uh, we, we haven't seen much, you know, improvement in the manufacturing industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are some of the things I think uh, would want to come and uh, deal with. Uh, when we come back, or indeed uh, when uh, we are given an opportunity to, to rule this country uh, at the appointed time when the people of Zambia feel that uh, we are ready to come back. But we are projecting uh, ourselves uh, to, to coming back in 2016 okay. uh, because uh, we, we, I think we are offering uh, uh, good guidance to this government and the checks and balances, like I have said, uh, so we feel that we are ready to come back and to come and deal with the, you know, the, the manufacturing industry. Uh, we need to to put more emphasis and uh, uh, deliberate policies uh, to make sure that uh, you and me can go into manufacturing and uh, you know uh, employ a lot of people. Uh, is right to say that manufacturing industry can employ a lot of people, can you know, bring in a lot of youths uh, to be employees, so, so that uh, you know, we can remove those uh, people who are just roaming on the streets. Uh -huh. We have a lot of educated young men and women, young people who are just uh, you know, in the, on the streets, who uh, have uh, been knocking uh -huh. on the doors of government and government is not providing, you know, uh, the, 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 the much needed support that the young people would want. Uh, of course, we, we do not want the young people to just be depending on government. We want the young people to use their brains uh, to start up businesses, uh, to go into manufacturing. Uh, we have brilliant young people out there. All right, uh, let, but I mean, of course, uh, they are not given the Mr. Their own. Then Mr. Boniface, he, he, he talked of uh, uh, waiting only uh, on a queue for four days. Uh, 
Fuel, to buy the, fuel. Even in your time, fuel uh, is shortages of fuel. Yeah, I think I remember when uh, Indeni was closed for for maintenance. Yeah, sometimes there would be shortages, but not for for that long. Uh, you know, maybe one day. Uh, at the most two days fuel has to come but of course you know there would be long queues that, that was happening but it was not as bad because we we have situations where uh, you know like in Serenje the other week it was being reported in the media that uh, there was a shortage uh, where you know people uh, were going without fuel but of course uh, I know that Indeni has shut down mm -hmm. so uh, we, what we need is proper uh, management mm -hmm. where fuel is going to the, to these filling stations uh, on, a, you know, on a daily basis because we have a lot of vehicles. We need to plan for that. Uh, and uh, we need to open it up uh, for even uh, private you know, uh, individuals, pri private companies to, to even put up a, a pipeline. Uh, they have heard of plans by people uh, that they would want to put up a, a pipeline. But uh, I don't know, uh, maybe government is saying, you know, uh, they want to mo monopolize the, the, yeah. you know, the industry. All so right. we have to open up these things mm -hmm. so that uh, our people at the end of the day do not suffer. Okay. Then uh, 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 it's advice to the callers. Yeah, it's, it's you know people have their own opinion. Me, I value all the callers who have called. Uh, I say thank you because at least they they are opening up my mind. Uh, those that are criticizing what I am saying, uh, they have a right. Uh, it is a democracy, so uh, it is healthy for me. I am taking all these things. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, I will make a decision, and that decision is what I'm going to follow. Okay. Uh, no one is going to force me. Right. Then, then also, uh, Mr. Musonda, uh, you talked of... Uh, I think the money. issue of money, this is uh, the, the question is, we did not really get It's not clear. very so clear, I yeah. Let's with that one. Let's have yeah. more calls. Mm. Director. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Your name? This is Luca. Mr. Luca. Luca from Lelengo. Luca. Yes, Mr. Luca. Yes, I just want to comment on the development which is the yes. saying is the initiator. Mm -hmm. uh, hello? We are with you, sir. Mr. Luca, let's try again, but uh, we are getting you loud and clear. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Reduce the volume on your TV set, please. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, Buona Mchima, good evening. Good evening uh, to you, to Buona. And the uh, Honorable MP, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, my name is Agupa Liswaniso. Yes, Mr. Liswaniso. Yeah, UPND, you spokesperson. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I just want to, to concur with you as an opposition, the way you have been talking, the way you have been saying things there uh, as an opposition i may say that we have a lot of job to do as a as party we have no, we have no that time of which the pf they had when they time you in your in your in, in, in the ruling party whereby you can able to talk to the people you can organize your party uh, so that thing has been a challenge for us we are in the opposition but moreover that we are trying our best that we speak to the people and remind them and I want to make it very clear that to other people that it's the mandatory of the PF government to give us development. They have been given, a, given five years to develop this country. And it is their job to make, to give us roads, to give whatever they want, it is their job. It's only that the way they are giving us roads, the way they are giving us development, it is not matching the way we want it as a Zambian people. So these are the things we want to remind the Zambian people. It is the responsibility of each and every who is given a mandate, even you as a member of parliament, to give development to the people of Zambia and to that community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Liswaniso. Let's accommodate more calls, Director. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yes, please. Uh, joking. John Malama. Yes, Mr. Malama. 
Malama from Omichinga Constituent. Yes, uh, Mr. Malama. Yes, please. How are you, Honorable? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mr. Malama? Fine, thank you. Mm. Uh, how are you? Yes, sir. Tell us about uh, the road network and uh, Nakadembule. Tell us about the highway out Nakadembule. Tell us about the deposit development under Nakadembule. Tell us about the uh, payment over the maze under the report. Because only one uh, number one we are paid. Up to now we have lost the fertilizer. No one has received the fertilizer because we are unable to pay. And the debt we are closed. What uh, have you or how will you assist us being the honorable MOP under Muchinga Constituent? Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, all right, I think uh, let's hold it on that note. My director is telling me that you've got uh, less than uh, 10 minutes, so let's respond okay. to this. Let's yeah. start with Mr. Malama. Uh, Mr. Malama, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, indeed, uh, uh, he knows the constituency. Mm. Uh, and this area called Nakalengule is, is an area in my constituency uh, that, uh, you know, uh, as member of parliament, uh, is... Uh, at my, you know, mm. uh, my heart to make sure that uh, they see uh, the development that that is also happening in the other areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in terms of road network, uh, right now we are considering, you know, this uh, 2014 CDF uh, to buy a grader so that we can be grading our own roads because we've tried, personally I've tried uh, to even bring up questions in parliament mm -hmm. uh, and government has been quick to answer but uh, doing the roads it has been that's why it has been it hasn't been there mm -hmm. uh, that is why i've been saying that i have not seen the development that this this government is talking about because in the area where i am uh, it is uh, as a result of uh, you know uh, using the cdf uh, to to bring maybe you know clinics we've built a number of clinics in the constituency and some have even finished like there is one at Musamani that is completely finished with electricity but there is no worker uh, you know there uh, they are not providing uh, the the staff and uh, you know uh, the things that uh, are required for for a clinic to operate uh, so what what can you say eh? because it's the government that is supposed to bring development mm -hmm. it is government that is supposed to look after the people mm -hmm. but if you you are saying you have finished a clinic uh, and you go to them please, please provide the staff pr provide the things that are required uh, they are saying uh, we'll do it we'll do it but of course we know they have frozen the employment you know uh, they, they are not. They are no longer employing, uh, you know, civil servants. So uh, maybe that's why. But uh, they are a government that has promised uh -huh. uh, to provide uh, the much-needed, you know, uh, resource first of all. Then the development that uh, you know they've been talking about. Uh -huh. So in Nakalengule, the road network, I know it is uh, not good. We need to work on it. That is why we, as member of parliament, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sitting with the people. Uh, I was there. Uh, we talked about this thing, and we suggested that we, you know, we get uh, a grader so that we can do our own roads. There are a lot of roads in my constituency. Mm -hmm. uh, some even in, in excess of 100 kilometers, mm -hmm. just one road. Uh, of course, uh, the. Uh, the government had uh, said through the local government uh, had said that they would give us, you know, uh, graded uh, roads uh, up 20 kilometers. Now, if you have a road, one road over 100 kilometers, how 
how can you how can you say thank you to one to 20 kilometers which they have not even done up to now yeah? so that is why we are saying we want to buy our own then on health on health have already mentioned we have a lot of clinics that i i are uh, going you know there is construction of health facilities uh, but we are not sure when we finish uh, like what i was telling you when we finish are they going to bring stuff there uh, so those are the questions but we are building these facilities mm -hmm. then payments for maize these are issues that we've been raising uh, We've been raising these issues because the, the government, the, the Ministry of Agriculture, came openly to say that two weeks after delivery of the, the maize, they would be paid. In my constituency, there are just about 13, uh, you know, in this area, maybe two, uh, maybe three. So in, in total, we, we may find that maybe only less than 50 people have been paid yeah. and you have a queue of uh, you know in excess of 500 to waiting to be paid so how can you uh, you know praise a government like that yeah. they have failed the agriculture sector because they are not valuing what is supposed to be valued uh, like uh, you know paying the farmers quickly so that they can pay for the fertilizer now a lot of people you heard mr malama mm. uh, was saying that a lot of people have lost an opportunity to buy the cheaper fertilizer mm -hmm. because they are the government is holding their money eh? mm. they are not paying them so we are hoping that this government this week mm -hmm. finishes to pay the farmers because the farming season uh, started in August. All right. Now so it's October. We are in, uh, it is now starting to rain. In some areas, it has been raining. All right. We yeah. have borrowed time, and I think um, for Mr. Gilbert Sonyiso, it was just the issue of uh, yeah uh, the working opposition to, working to together. Working together. It, that is the way forward. Yeah. Uh, we need to work together to provide the checks and balances certainly. so that this government can be put on his toes to work. Okay. That is why it is there. Our time is really up, but uh, l let me still request uh, Director for his uh, uh, lenience. I just wanted to get your views, even as we pack our bags, on the budget presentation quickly. Uh, you uh, see, what do you expect as yeah. MMD youths, as MMD uh, as a party? We expect that the Minister of Finance will come to the House to bring a budget that will reflect the the pf's agenda on the youths because we are in majority remember and we expect that it will pronounce the jobs that it will create for the young people that it intends to create for the young people that is what we are expecting we're expecting that this government will look into the bursaries eh? will look into the education first of all because an educated youth will be an educated future and that is what uh, this government should be you know putting their minds to and not just to be politicking we want this government to be on its toes so that our people can uh, gain from what uh, they were promising and in this year's budget we we are expecting not less than uh, you know, support for the youths uh, who are who are the ones who who put them in those offices. Uh, they have neglected the, the youths, right. uh, but we expect that uh, this government will look into that seriously. All right, Honorable uh, Kunda, thank you so much for your time that you had spared, of course, to come and discuss national issues with us. Yeah, I'm very thankful. Uh, thank you uh, to everyone in uh, you know at uh, Prime TV. Uh, this is the way it should be. We, we need the support, uh, you know, uh, so that we can uh, give uh, the information to the people out there. Mm. They may be lacking information. So we are there to talk on their behalf. Mm. We are there to provide the checks and balances. Uh, I should uh, thank you mm. uh, most sincerely uh, for inviting me to come and, uh, you know, contribute to our well-being. 
uh, of our country. I think we should also thank you most sincerely for supporting us. You coming here means you supporting us. And we are very grateful for that. Thank you. All right. To you, our dear viewers, well, this is where we have to say bye-bye to you. Thank you so much for your time. And of course, um, thank you so much to everyone who took part into this uh, program. I know other people always complain to say, but how come we failed to get through? How come? But every day I mention it that it's not possible to pick all the calls. But I'll ever try again next week. And of course, uh, to my guest, Honorable Kunda, also thank you so much. And uh, today we were looking at the relevance of uh, the MMD and the country's political scene, or should I say, the country's political dispensation. My name has been Kalan Mushima. On behalf of my entire colleagues and my guest, Honorable Howard Kunda, who is the Muchinga MMD Member of Parliament, as well as MMD National Youth Chairman, is good night, God bless, looking forward to next week.